Welcome to the another episode of Abstract Thesis series. In this series, we are digging deep into the Power BI concepts. If you have not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for our new video. Hello and welcome to another video on Abstract Thesis series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss the newly released function Network Days in July 2022 release. So let's look at what this network days function is so networks days function is basically used to give you a days difference between two days by only considering the work days so you have a weekend you can have holidays so they will get excluded in such a calculation okay so let's go ahead and look at it what all parameters this function can take so i am looking at the microsoft documentation of network days and in this uh, uh, network days you can give four parameters start date end date which are compulsory and weekend and holidays are not compulsory now start date means one of the date which you want to uh, the first date the second date uh, the difference between the two you want it to take and then you have the week weekend a uh, one uh, means basically Saturday and Sunday and uh, if you don't give the value this is going to be the one which is going to use the Saturday Sunday then uh, so and then two means uh, Sunday and Monday three means Monday and Tuesday these are basically the holidays so you may use Sunday and Monday you may like to use uh, Friday Saturday or Thursday Friday or maybe let's say Sunday only Monday only Tuesday only or Friday or Saturday only these kind of holidays options are available here and you can use this holiday is something where uh, you know you can use uh, a calendar or you can give a date basically you need a table of dates which you can provide and which can also be considered in calculating the holidays so uh, these these are the remarks and these are the examples here and then there is uh, one example which has been given here uh, how can you calculate the number of work days okay so now let's go to power bi and uh, try that out before that what i've done is uh, from internet i downloaded this us holidays uh, list so that i can use that as a table and i also created one data where i have the date one and date two which is basically like start date and end date uh, what has been mentioned uh, there in the uh, documentation so let's go ahead and try to build this uh, uh, network days now so i am on the power bi uh, on a new uh, file and I will click on Excel workbook and in Excel workbook, I need my data of network uh, days data. So I go to the network days and I click on OK. And I take date and I take holidays and I say load the data. I don't need any transformation. So let the data get loaded. Now what I'm going to do here is once this get it now get loaded, I'm going to uh, create uh, certain columns into the dates table uh, and try to get the difference. So first thing we would like to know basically what is the difference between these two dates, isn't it? What's the difference uh, between these two dates? So let me create a new column here and let me know what is the difference actually in days. Okay, so we can use date diff function for that. And in the date diff we can say uh, again it take the start date and then the second date which is date 2 and then in days and typically it's going to include only one so you usually do a plus one if required in these such cases so you can see 30 if you require 31 you need to do a plus one here so now this is the diff but that's what we don't want we want the difference uh, between these two dates it's only in terms of the network days now let me tell you the older technique first so the older technique, the traditional way to do, what was the traditional way to do that? So traditional way was basically, so net work day, traditional way, traditional way what we used to do is we used to create a calendar. First of all, between these two dates, date one and date two. And then what we used to do is on top of this calendar, we used to put a filter. What filter we use? We used to say, what is my week day, basically weekday and using the date the, because the calendar has given us the date. So what calendar is given? Calendar is going to give us the series of dates between these two dates. So, and that column will be known as date. That's what uh, is going to give. And I use two means in case two Monday is uh, one and I actually get Saturday and Sunday, which is basically six and seven. So I can say strictly less than six 
and then the filter is been done so i in every row i'm getting a table which is basically now uh only containing the weekdays and then i can simply do a count rows of that so this is the traditional method which we were using so far to get that now same can be used in major here you can have actually instead of dates you can have major or i can do this inside a sum x min x max x or average x this complete calculation for the table and that's how i can manage that so i got certain days now let's use our network day function the newly released text function and try that out now so we we're going to use that and let me use net work days and then i'm going to use the net work days function date one comma date two right now let me use only these two parameters and if required we'll give one so we you can see we are getting the same numbers here and then we can use the parameter as one to forcefully tell that this is saturday and sunday now if i give the parameters to the numbers might change for few of them and you can see the number is changing here and here and these rows so now we don't need that so we go and make it as one now so we have used the first three parameters now we would like to experiment we would like to have a date as a holiday and let's see in this january month we have one holiday and uh, that was 17th of january martin luther day was there so let's try that out so i will call at as a one and then the third parameter it required a table and in the angular bracket we can create a table and then we can give date and we can say 2022 because this is for 2022 and 01 is the month and 17th is the date when we had the holiday and we we close the date we close the angular bracket so we got a table of dates and then we say network days like this so now we got 20 days only january we added holiday rest of the places going to match the same number now how do i take in the older traditional method so let me copy this traditional formula in the traditional formula how can we do that so in the traditional formula i copied it and i say one and here we are going to say and date I'm going to make it not in so first of all I'm saying date in because I'm going to give a table now here uh, which is basically date 2022 1 17th date close angular bracket close now this is in I don't want this in I don't want I want not in so the here also I'm getting now 20 so I am able to consider the holiday in the traditional one also now but we have done this all this hard work of finding out the holidays and bringing it in here um fine so uh so how do we use that now so to do that what we are going to do is we are going to create one more so let's take this uh, network day here and now what we are going to do is we are going to create one more column now in this column instead of giving this date we are going to give all or distinct because I have more than one column and I already tried out if you give that complete table it's not going to take it so I'm going to give holiday dates I'm using this thing you can try out with all also okay so it's already there we will make it two so these are the number and if I use all same numbers now you will see a little bit of difference other than the first month because of there was no holidays in the other months uh, which we have considered so this one is considering those so we will have uh, lesser numbers in network days 2 compared to network days 1 okay 23 so 22 12 is 12 29 is 28 so there might not be any holidays in the march in those particular dates now so definitely tra traditional method also we want to revise and see can we give a table out there we create a new column and we go ahead and instead of in date we also going to say here is either distinct or all holiday date we're going to close that and let's see does it give the same results again we have to rename this so now we got our network days 
traditional method too and you will see these numbers are also matching here now this we get now somebody ask you give a major so my advice would be to give a major here is i will take this calculation as is i go to the major and i say sum x or average x whatever final operation i have to do let's say i have to do sum x then i'll say sum x i date stable comma this same calculation and i'm going to give this i'm going to create my own major like this and then i can go here and I can bring a table visual in that table visual drag me this date drag me this date to make both of them as date date and then I can drag my major okay now the major we have used is uh, using the traditional method let's copy the network date to method here we copy this calculation and we go and modify in the major and we use that calculation so numbers remain same so this is how you are going to create network days in power bi now you know how to use the recently released dex network days function or how can we follow the traditional approach which we were doing in the past so go ahead and try this out do let me know your comments on this video thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you